All right, hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. This is a beautiful day, and it is a good day because Pop! OS 21.04, featuring their new and improved Cosmic Desktop Environment, has been officially released. It is available to download today from the System76 homepage. Now, other than just announcing it, what we're going to do is skim through it one more time. I know I've already done this in a previous video, but that was the beta version. And I want to kind of play around with some of the things that it didn't let you do quite yet until this version was released. And one of the things that I'm noticing here out of the gate is this welcome dialog. So let's go ahead and skim through it. We have our typing. So here is welcome to Pop! OS. Choose your desktop, uh, well, choose the desktop setup with your preferred layout. So it does give you the option to do no dock, dock that extends to edges, or the dock that does not extend to edges, which I'm pretty sure most people, other than those who do not like the dock, are going to go with. Uh, because unless if you want it to look kind of like how Windows is trying to look, that's what you would want to go with. So let's go with doesn't extend. And here we can configure our top bar. So what it looks like, some of the uh, new features and customizations that they've added, they're going ahead and right out of the gate, they're having you configure it so you don't go looking for it later and you don't think what you get is what you get. So that's really nice. Here we have the show workspaces button, which is this button right here. And then we have the show applications button, which is this right here. So we have the option to enable and disable that, the time and date and notification position. Right now it is centered, so if I click on that, I have my notifications, my calendar, time and date, and all that stuff. I could go ahead and put that over to the left if I would like to, and then it would be before workspaces and applications. Or I can shift it over to the right, and then it would be after our power off thing. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put that back into the center. Click next. And here is just a little kind of tutorial on how to use the uh, new super key, which is this. It's basically just an application launcher. So then you go ahead and search for things, but you could also use it to switch between your uh, open applications as well. And they do mention down here that the configuration can be changed from the settings application. So that is good. Go ahead and click next. I'm not going to be able to show you guys this, unfortunately, but they have improved the gesture control, such as using four fingers to switch between workspaces, applications, things like that. It's very nice. And then if we go next here, we have privacy, so you can enable or disable location services. Here is where we select our time zone. Unfortunately, I am in the Pacific Northwest right now. <laughs> I usually love it, but right now I'm not loving it. Um, okay, then we have the online accounts, so we're just going to go ahead and skip that and then start using Pop! OS. And it's not obvious based on the version number, this is based off of Ubuntu 21.04, as Pop! OS is an Ubuntu-based distribution. So with that said, kind of what we talked about in the past, just some of the new things other than what we've ran through with the uh, kind of welcome dialog, is some of the buttons down here. These are removable as well, but we can show our launcher by clicking there. We can show our workspaces using this icon, and then we can show our applications by using this icon. Now on the actual system, there is not that much included and I do like that. Just all the applications you need to get a running head start into a Linux distribution, including calculator, calendar, contacts, files. If I go ahead and open up files, you can see the theming and the icons that they're going ahead and using. Uh, this is technically the Cosmic Desktop Environment, it's their thing, but it's basically a modified version of GNOME. And I gotta say, I do really like what they've done with this. It's kind of what GNOME should have been or should be, because with GNOME, there's really not that much customization out of the box, but they've done a really good job here with the Cosmic Desktop environment, giving you a ton of different settings and customization control that you don't see in the generic vanilla GNOME. This is cool because it does have a lot of the little customization things that you'd want to do included out of the box. So we'll go ahead and take a look at some of those in just a second. So let's go ahead and close that out. Uh, if we go ahead and open our applications back up, we have Firefox web browser out of the gate, which is nice. We have Geary, which is not my favorite. Uh, we have a suite of Office applications, the LibreOffice suite. So this is usually the one included with Linux distributions, but it is included out of the gate on this. And then if I go over to the Pop Shop, the Pop Shop is wonderful. It's basically like your app store. This is a fork of the application center that comes with elementary OS. So this is very nice. 
Uh, if we go down here, go back to applications, we have our system tools here, a terminal, text editor, some utilities, including their USB flashing tool, which is a wonderful tool. Here we have those GNOME extensions with all of the extensions that make Cosmic Cosmic. Like I said, this is just GNOME heavily modified with extensions. If I went through and disabled all of these, we would be back to the vanilla GNOME experience. So you can actually customize this and change this to go back to GNOME if you do not like Cosmic. It's all right here, easily configurable, and you do have shortcuts to the settings here. Which, speaking of shortcuts to the settings, let's go ahead and go to our settings and go over to desktop. Here we have our various wallpapers, which there are some beautiful wallpapers included, but I'm not really going to shuffle through all of those right now. Uh, if I go over to desktop, we have general. So a lot of this was there before, but some of the buttons didn't work, such as our uh, super key action, which right now, as we discussed, the default is the launcher. We have our workspaces, applications. So for example, if I just wanted it to be applications, I could go ahead and select that. And then if I hit my super key, you can see it takes me to the application screen. Now I'm gonna put that back to launcher because that is my preference. Uh, we have hot corners, top bar, and window controls. So right here, check that, show the maximize button, which I did say this in my last video. It's a really nice they included this because in my, uh, it's the five things you must do after installing Pop! OS video. One of them was basically getting an extension to have the maximize and minimize buttons, but it's cool that they're included out of the gate now. So with that, we have background. We already looked at that. Appearance, you have the dark and light mode. I'm gonna stick with dark mode. And over here are some of the things that did not work quite well. Uh, if you wanna go ahead, well, not quite well, but weren't available yet at all. Uh, right here is where you can extend the dock to the edges of the screen if you do prefer that or completely disable your dock altogether. Now, what wasn't available yet is the, I don't think custom size was available, but we do have that now and we could go with uh, large icons, for example, here. And we have the position on the desktop. This wasn't available yet. So if you would like to, you could go ahead and throw that up on the left side or take it over to the right side, however you want, whatever works with your workflow. And this is giving me some uh, old school, not old school, but some like Unity Ubuntu vibes with it over here like this. Uh, let's not. So let's go ahead and put that back. And uh, let's go with the small icons because that's probably, that's what I do on my laptop. Uh, I've been using Pop! OS Cosmic Beta on my laptop for a couple weeks now, probably three, four weeks, almost a month. And it has been one of the best GNOME experiences that I've had. Um, I was talking about this in a stream. I always run a Arch-based distribution on my desktop because I like to tinker, customize, usually with KDE. And on my ThinkPad laptops, I always run something with GNOME. And at least as of late, it has been Pop! OS. And on those laptops, I always seem to install Pop! OS just because it's such a good experience. And I like everything as is. I don't really tinker with Pop! OS much. I all the way down to the point that I just leave this background because I think it looks good. So with all that said, I am incredibly excited for this release of the Pop! OS 21.04 Cosmic. If we go ahead and go over to System76, uh, we can see on their homepage the uh, kind of little release note here. Launch! Pop! OS 21.04 Plus Cosmic has landed. And if you click this Discover Pop! OS thing right here, you can scroll down and learn a lot about it. If I go over to the System76 blog, um, you can see it's that one of the ones said Pop! OS Cosmic arriving in June, and oh boy, did they wait until the very last second to do that. <laughs> uh, right here, Pop! OS, uh, a release of Cosmic Proportions. I might steal that for my video title, to be frank. But here is all of the... Uh, everything we've basically gone through in this video and the previous video. So if you want a text version of this, you could go ahead and read this. A link will be in the description. With all of that said, I do hope you enjoyed this and I do hope you enjoy playing with Pop! OS Cosmic Edition. A uh, big thank you to the System76 team for all the hard work you do. It's truly magnificent what you guys do for Linux, the Linux community as a whole, and just making good software and hardware that is just fun to play with. So thank you guys. Thank all of you for watching. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.